In this video, we are going to illustrate the geometric interpretation of a partial derivative. Let's start with a quick review. We have a differentiable function f of x comma y and a point a comma b in the domain of f. The partial derivative of f with respect to x at the point a comma b is defined to be the limit as h goes to zero of f of a plus h comma b minus f of a comma b all over h. And the partial derivative of f with respect to y at a comma b is defined to be the limit as h goes to zero of f of a comma b plus h minus f of a comma b all over h. In both cases, the key idea is that we are keeping one variable fixed and we let the other variable change. Now let's try to draw a picture of what's happening using the function f of x comma y, which equals 7xy over e raised to the power of quantity x squared plus y squared. The graph of f is a surface. And the point p with coordinates 1 comma 1 comma 7 over e squared is a point on the surface. If we let x vary and keep y fixed at a constant y equals 1, then the function g of x, which is defined to be f of x comma 1, equals 7x over e raised to the power of quantity x squared plus 1. This is a function of only one variable, and its graph is a curve, C1, which lies on the surface and runs parallel to the xz plane. The partial derivative of f with respect to x is the slope of the line tangent to the curve C1 at the point P. And it represents the rate of change of the surface in the positive x direction. Now, likewise, if we let y vary and keep x fixed at x equals 1, then the function h of y, which is defined to be f of 1 comma y, equals 7y over e raised to the power of quantity 1 plus y squared is a function of only one variable. Its graph is a different curve, c2, which also runs along the surface, and it is parallel to the y z plane. The partial of f with respect to y evaluated at 1 comma 1 represents the slope of the line tangent to the curve c2 at the point p. And that in turn represents the rate of change of the surface in the positive y direction. So, in summary, the partial of f with respect to x represents the slope of the line tangent to the curve c1 at the point p, 
and it in turn represents the rate of change of the function in the positive x direction. While the partial derivative of f with respect to y is the slope of the tangent line to the curve C2 at the point P, and that represents the rate of change of f in the positive y direction. 